Hello, friends. Welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm going to be reading. Hello, I am Precious Balolo from Grade Two B, and I am going to be reading the passage about ants. Ants are found everywhere in the world. They make their homes in buildings, gardens, etc. They live in ant hills. Ants are very hardworking insects. Throughout the summers, they collect food for the winter season. Whenever they find a sweet lying on the floor, they stick to the sweet and they carry it to their home. Thus, in this way, they clean the floor. Ants are generally red and black in color. They have two eyes and six legs. They are social insects. They live. In groups or colonies, most ants are scavengers. They collect whatever food they can find. They are usually wingless, but they develop wings when they reproduce. Their bites are quite painful. Thank you. I can bark like a dog to the music. Woof 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 woof. woof. I can moo like a cat to the music. Hello, I'm Precious Kalolo from Grade Two B. I'm going to be telling the story, The Rainbow Fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but a rainbow fish. His scales were every shade of blue and with sparkling silver scales among them. And then, one day, there came an orange fish and said, Come, play with me. But the rainbow fish would glide past, proud and silent, letting its scales shimmer. Then, there came a, a little said, can I have just one of your little tiny scales, shimmery scales, please? But the, but the, but the rainbow fish said, you want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Said the, cried the rainbow fish. I laughed out loud like, ha ha ha. And then, the little blue fish was shocked. The little blue fish swam away. Swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what happened. From then, on, no one have, would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away. They turned away when they saw him, and the other fishes swam by when they saw him. Then, when the rainbow fish was passing by, he saw a big dark cave. There was a big octopus in there. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in the glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. 
I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a big, big voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. They will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. And then the rainbow I can't! The rainbow fish started to sing, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly he felt the light of a fin that touched his feet up there. Then he saw the little blue fish and then the rainbow fish said, Would you mind I would give you one of my scales? And then the, blue, the little blue fish said, I don't mind, I just have one little blue scale. And then the, the rainbow fish took out his scale very slowly, carefully. And then when he took it out, he gave it to the blue fish. And then he gave it to all the fishes. The end. Hello, I'm Precious Galolo from Grade Two B, and I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be dancing the action song in English. Pa pa la 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 pa pa. Like and subscribe to this video and comment.